Holy, holy shit. What the? I've never seen an FTK that can FTK through two hand traps literally every single turn. This is ridiculous. This is, this is, this whole video is going to be me explaining the new FTK, how it works, how to defeat it, because you can't. This video is going to blow your mind, so stay tuned to the very end. Make sure to smash the subscribe button if you're ready for a new FTK. And it is a Pendulum FTK because there's a Pendulum card in it, uh, one. But, you know, crazy FTK. Stay tuned to the very end. Don't forget to get people a trip gaming playmat in the description below. Certain Vendemian loves you only if you play on it. Get your playmats down below. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. The new FTK that is ready to shock the world. Let's go. I am at a loss of words for how broken this FTK is, boys. All right? I know, I'm the pendulum god, I'm not the dragon god. It doesn't matter. Cause I'm about to be both, baby. This FDK is insane. It is literally Starving Venom-esque FDK. You FDK through hand traps. All you need is how it was with the Starving Venom FDK. Just make an Electrum and you have the full FDK. That's how easy it was. If your Electrum resolves, you win. But this FDK, all you need is two dragons. And if your first play gets interrupted, it doesn't matter because the whole deck just, in just extenders. So for example, you have a full dra just one dra chamber chamber dragon maid is the full FTK. I'm doing this first just to see they like hand trap the dragon maid if they think I'm playing pure. And then look at all the extenders you have, bro. World of guard dragon, etc., etc. Tracers an extender because you get boot sector launch and two dragons FTK. And if you have an extra dragon, it's FTK plus herald. And if you have two dragons, three dragons extenders, it's FTK through hail plus multiple hand traps on the opponent. So it doesn't even matter if your opponent has hand traps. It's just unstoppable. So get ready for the greatness, guys. I'm gonna do show you guys, showcase you guys the full combo right now, how to do it. Because if you don't know about this combo, you will get fucked at events when or online events when your opponent pulls this out on you. So you have to know when to stop and you have to learn how to play it properly. So play close attention. I'm gonna do this whole thing's gonna be a fast forward run. This first one, I'm gonna fast forward the rest of the way for this entire combo. But I will be playing in two rated matches in this video so after this i will show you guys a rated match where i played through one hand trap and then a rated match where i did fdk through two hand traps easily oh my god this deck's ridiculous big shout out to tristan pew for winning the lcs with this deck shout out to his team as well that they they, they just created this incredible deck I, I i changed it a bit to how i like to play it uh, a little more defensive with a little more hand traps uh but you know it's kind of funny i never play hand traps and pendulums but I think that the fact that this deck is just a two card combo deck, you can afford to play more hand traps in my opinion, uh, despite the fact that they did do the perfect math for it. There's a math video we're gonna link in the description below where you can see their math on the, on, the, on the deck list, but I do think it's good to have more hand traps to ensure going second you still win as well. Uh, but this deck does just blitzkrieg through hand traps very easily, uh, just because of the way the deck is. And uh, one, it's like, it's not just one line of play, there's thousands line of plays and this deck's absolutely just ridiculous. Anyways, that's the FTK right there. Uh, Black Garden ends up getting five tokens on the field for your opponent. Uh, Earth, uh, Union Carrier brings up Earthbound Immortal, which does 4,000 damage, because uh, Tracer would target it to destroy, send it to the grave. So then special Explode Rocket. Explode Rocket does 2,000 when targeted by Boral Sword. And then in the opponent's turn, the Rocket Tracer will bring another another Explode Rocket, and Boral Sword will target it and destroy, and guess what? Herald is protecting everything. And if your opponent hand trapped at any point, it doesn't matter. Because you have the extra extender in Levenir, you have the extra card in, in Herald of Arclight. Levenir brings out another monster because Levenir brings, could bring out another dragon from the grave. So it's like two extenders and one card. This deck is ridiculous. Now I will be showing you guys the match, uh, two matches in a row. Before we do though, make sure guys check out the Patreon because on the Patreon, I showcase my personal deck list for this deck, which is different from Tristan's winning list. Uh, it's pretty similar, but it's more defensive to ensure that whether you're going first or second, you still have infinity hand traps to still destroy them. Now, Tristan helped coach me through a lot, a few of these games uh, myself. He is a master at this deck. He pulled off some stuff I thought I don't think was possible. So big shout out to them. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to Trip Gaming, boys. And hey, while you guys are down below, subscribe to his friend too who created this entire thing. So with that being said, let's go straight into the, the, the two duels now. We're going to do duel number one through one hand trap and duel number two through two hand traps. So this is the first duel unrated. Uh, uh, you guys can see just now just how broken it really is. So this is the hand that we have, all right? I'll show you guys his hand as well. He has uh, impermanence and, uh, you know, mech knight. He's playing a mech knight deck. Go second deck. Even if he won the die roll, he wouldn't make me go first. He, he would have made me go first. Now he has an imperm. I'm like, all right, yo, you think it? <laughs> 
Get a load of this guy. He thinks an Abram's gonna stop the pen god from FTK? Come on, bro. Now, if you see this hand, this hand is just FTK through two hand traps, if not more. So you have Black Metal Dragon, which is full FTK by itself. You have Starling Saber, full FTK by itself. There's only one, there's 10, there's like 15 one card FTKs in this deck. Chaos Zone's another one card FTK. Uh, but Chaos Zone's an extender. Tracer's an extender because you search Boot Sector. So we're actually gonna start with Black Metal to get this. The Striker Dragon gets Imperms. Oh man, how are you gonna special the Rocket Tracer? Oh my god, so scared. Not really, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what hand trap they have. They just literally, this is literally full FTK still. So here we're gonna go into that. We're gonna go Link Ross. Uh, gonna go into, typically you could summon out the Herald right away, but because we don't have access to Boot Sector Launch, we'll do the combo a little bit differently, uh, but it's still very possible. Uh, at this point, you're gonna use Needle Fiber Special Red Rose Dragon, make the Maiden, that's where you search your Black Garden, as well as Special Summon a free card uh, via Red Rose Dragon. Next, you activate Chaos Space to get a Mini Dragon, keep the Tracer in Grave, uh, you can Special Summon it via Pisty, via Levenir, wh via whatever you want, baby. Uh, special that, now we got an LP out here. Uh, special uh, token on the opponent's side, uh, not from the LP, but from the card that was special before. Uh, special uh, Delingerous, uh, summon that, get Carrier. Uh, another token, summon that again. The whole point is just extenders, extenders, extenders. We have lots of extenders available. At this point, we can Herald now. Uh, if he was gonna Nibiru, he would have Nibiru before the... First, if he has a Nibiru, he's gonna save the Imperm with the Nibiru for one. And for two, he would use the Nibiru and uh, right before I had the option to Herald because typically you Herald when you put up the Dragoonity card and two tokens. That's when you, that's a way, like, if, if they don't Nibiru, I asked, I was like, anything, uh, response? He's like, no, that means there's no Nibiru. So you continue playing. At this point, you might be saving a second hand trap. So I went into Herald at this point because it was possible you can still have DK. And now you're gonna summon 11 here, or get rid of three lights to summon out the Tracer. Uh, and now the Lingris affecting Grave. Uh, what do you know? Uh, use all this, uh, summon Brutal Sword. Through an Imperm, bro, through an Imperm. If he was gonna Imperm at any time, he's still lost. It doesn't matter. There's no saving that Imperm. One Imperm's not enough, baby. It's not enough. Uh, and then next, we also have an extra extender. If we had another hand trap, we had another extender to continue going and even link off with the Herald if we really had to. Because if he does something before the Herald, he can't do it. Now, a lot of you guys might say stuff like, oh my god, Trip, there's a Herald. You can't use your cards. Well, Herald only says banish from, from the hand and main deck. That's it, not from the field. So I can link off all I want and they still go there. Anyways, 4,000 damage via my friend Asla Pisku, hello. Uh, next, I'm gonna do 2,000 more damage via my friend Exploder Rocket Dragon, and then his turn's gonna come up, and I'm gonna do another 2,000. Uh, uh, he can't imperm as well. I don't know why I popped the black card. You should pop your Union Carrier in case you have Cosmic Cycle plus another hand trap, which he did, but Harold to negate the Cosmic anyways. And GG, son. Uh, on to the next match. He actually ends up right after I took him. He was so distraught from getting obliterated, he just quit the duel. No GG, no nothing. On to game three now of match three. The other guy just scooped because he couldn't handle our awesomeness. As for this game, game one, he scooped in 30 seconds after he saw I had FTK. Game two was 30 minutes long of him summoning Necro's Unicorn and me doing cool stuff to play around it. And then him having Artifact Sanctum after Artifact Sanctum after Necro's Trishel after Nec It was 30 minutes of grind boringness. I'm gonna try an FTK and get on with my day. Now, if you guys see this hand, we have Earthbound Immortal Alapiscu in our hand. How can we FTK? We we hard drew this. This is it's, it's a good hand. It has a few extenders. How can we FTK? How can we FTK through Ash and, and Baylor? How can we do that? How, FTK uninterrupted is one thing. That's easy. How are you gonna FTK when you draw some cards you don't want to draw? Dead hand trap. Uh, Earthbound Immortal you don't want to draw. Uh, well, how are you gonna have to get? Well, let me show you. Normal summon, he saves his hand trap, good job. If it was game one, he could potentially Baylor that thinking I'm playing pure Dragon Maid. Uh, summon. Uh, summon Noctovision. Uh, Romulus. Noctovision to draw. He, uh, lets, uh, lets this resolve. I chain box, I can search this, so he can't get Ash yet. Link Ross, Baylor. Oh, how sad. Now our tokens can't come out. Well, guess what? I don't care, baby. D tokens are only there. So you put up the Herald. If the Herald went up, that Veiler was never getting dropped down. See what I mean? How this deck plays through hand traps like nothing. If he did not, if he did not Veiler that Link Ross, 
I was getting heralded right away, and that Veiler was never seeing the light of day aside from his hand. Because that Herald doesn't allow Veiler to resolve. So, alright, great. My next play, I mean, I don't care. I still have FTK. Guess what the cards I have on field. So I'm going to go Needle Viper, Ash Blossom. Oh my god, is all hope lost? Hell no! Look at our hand, baby! Look at all these extenders! Bro, it doesn't matter! That's what I'm saying. It literally, one hand chop, it just like, it just a minus one card in your hand. I don't care. So, what's our next play? We're gonna Chaos Zone. We're gonna send the Earthbound Immortal because we have a Reborn card to summon it back. Otherwise, you could just send a lighter, or a lighter dark card instead. Uh, Tristan advised me at this point. He's like, hey, Triff, man, this is why you don't play Ghost Mortar. This is why you play dark and light hand traps. So moving forward, maybe I will change it. But uh, I did side the mourner. I don't main the mourner. I want to make sure I have enough cards that stop all hand trap, uh, uh, like all needle fibers and stuff like that. But in the future, maybe this could be substituted by a ghost ogre. Uh, that way you could have uh, saved Earth by Mortal and summon it by Union Carrier if you didn't have the monster reborn. You're going to keep going here. And I'm going to go with the LP. You're going to summon again. Going to go into our good friend Circuit Dragon number two. Uh, we drew off Chaos Zone, so we have another Ash Blossom now. At this point, if he, if he has a third hand trap, he's gonna be left with three cards. We're gonna have an Ash, a Ghost Mourner, and we'll 11 year the other card away. But I guess we'll use it here to uh, yeah, discard. This is where he realizes he loses. I uh, discard the Mourner, not the Boot Sector launch. He realized at this point this is game over for him. He has no hand traps, and this is still full FTK through two hand traps. So he just scoops. But we're gonna continue playing so you can see that we still have full FTK through two hand traps. Uh, so we're gonna uh, discard the Mourner because we don't need it. Add the tra uh, yeah, uh, summon Tracer from the hand with Boot Sector that you added from Brotar. Go with the Lingerous, go Maiden, get the Black Garden. Activate the Black Garden, summon Union Carrier for no reason. We don't even need the Union Carrier, but just in case you didn't have the Reborn for Esku, if it was in your deck, you just summon it out. So it doesn't matter what you draw. There's no actual bricks that just stop you from playing. And just like that, literally full combo again. Pisty, summon, Delinger, summon again from Tracer. Uh, some Boral Sword, Reborn, that GG, friend. GG, with the Ash just for fun, just for shits and gigs. That could have been an Ash and a Mourner, too. GG, no re, get out of, bro. This deck is crazy. This deck's insane. This deck, bro, bro. I think we might have to ask the question. Is this the best deck in the world right now? Well, this is definitely the best FTK right now. It is definitely the second best deck in the world compared best deck, baby. But guys, this that's the that's the video for you guys. If you guys want to see my updated my my updated list I use for this update, I posted it on my Patreon. Also, my Patreon I post crazy how to play pendulum trainings all the time, so go check it out. And guys, subscribe to the channel. And lastly, bro, what's an FTK without playing on a people's servant of a demon cloth playmat? So get yours now. And bro, your boy's free, so get ready for videos every single day. I will be showcasing a lot of this combo live on stream later today. So if you're interested, go check it out. And I hope you guys like the video. We'll see you guys next video. Hey! Told you guys, man, this FDK is legit. After Pendulum, this is the only deck I'll play. Better than Rock, but better than El Lich. If you guys got this far, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Get a people trip gameplay man in the description below. Check out the Patreon where you can learn a lot about Pendulums and this entire deck list. I'll see you guys next video. Peace. Yeah,